Hello students. Uh, today in this video, we will see two server channel queue problem. So it is a very famous popular uh, question known as the Abel and Baker problem. So the question goes like this. A computer technical support center is staffed by two people, Abel and Baker, who takes who take calls and try to answer questions and solve computer problems. The time between calls ranges from one to four minutes with the distribution shown in table 1.1. And Abel is more experienced and can provide service faster than Baker, which means that when both are idle, Abel takes the calls. The distribution of their service times are as shown in tables 1.2 and 1.3. Simulate the system for 10 customers by finding average arrival time, average service time of ABLE, average service uh, time of Baker. Okay. So now the tables, what they have given is the table 1.1 is for IAT distribution, IAT and the given probability. And uh, second table is ST distribution of ABLE. They have given ST as 2, 3, 4, 5 and then corresponding probability then ST distribution of Baker is ST and the probability that is 3, 4, 5, 6 and whatever okay and they have given even the random digits for arrival time 30, 89, 50, 10, 20, 70, 45, 90 and 95 and random digits for service time they have given so totally they have uh, got 10 numbers here for service time and arrival time as usual it will be 9 numbers because the first the arrival time will be zero. Okay. So we will have to start creating the tables. The difference between single server and two server is that in single server only one server will be there and we will have to go according to that. I mean like once the service ends then only the next service will be starting it. Whereas now two servers are there. So simultaneously they can work okay according to the arrival time. So let us see we will have to make tables now. So the first table what we are generating is arrival time distribution as usual. So we will have IAT, then probability, cumulative probability and RDA. So according to the question given here is IAT is 1, 2, 3, 4 and the respective probability. So IAT and they have only given the probability so we don't have to divide it by 4 and all those things. Okay, So it's all they have given. So cumulative probability will be 0.25 for the first one. Next one will be 0.4 plus 0 0.25, 0 0.65. Next one is 0.2 plus 0 0.65. Next one is 0 0.15 plus 0 0.85. So finally, we are getting 1. Okay. So random digit assignment will be 1 to 25. Next one is 26 to 65. 66 to 85. Next one is 86 to 00. This is arrival time distribution. It is common. It is pertaining to the customer. right? So the next table will be service time distribution for able because two uh, two service people we have able and baker so service time distribution will be separately given for each one so the service time according to the table they have given st distribution st they have given two three four five corresponding one so two three four five corresponding probability so find the cumulative probability find the rda similarly service time distribution for baker also we have to find out so they have given for Baker, it is 3, 4, 5, 6 and the corresponding probability. So 3, 4, 5, 6 and the corresponding probability. Find cumulative probability, find RD. So three tables are done with. So uh, first one is arrival time distribution is over. We could find out RDA for arrival time. Then we could find out RDA for service time distribution of ABLE. Then RDA for service time distribution of BIC. The next one is determining IAT. So IAT is again inter arrival time. So how many customers they have asked is 10. So make 10 rows and then uh, 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 random digits. So according to the question, they have given the random digits 30, uh, 89, 50, 10, whatever. So the first customer will be having uh, no random number. That means he's coming at zero at the time. So first one, you have to keep it blank. So don't, uh, you know, uh, in the exam, don't just start with 30 for the first customer itself. You will have to keep it blank and then go with the customers. So arrival time, according to this, we have uh, we have found out RDA. So accordingly, we will check out 30. Okay, 30 comes under uh, the 
arrival time 2 see 26 to 65 so arrival inter arrival time is 2 so the same way you will be calculating all the iaps so the next table fifth table will be determining a stay but for able so for each person we have to calculate here okay so the customer 10 customers as usual random digits will be same but service time we have to look into the table of able 0 1 to 30 31 to 58 so this we have to look into and find out uh, st of able and the next table is determining st of baker so this remains unchanged okay st of baker we have to find out so look into the table of baker that is service time distribution of baker so 0 to 35 36 to 60 61 to 80 81 to 00, 0. According to that one, you have to find service time of baker. So all these tables you have to keep ready. Then we will see the simulation table. So it is almost similar to a single server queue only. Only thing is here we have two persons. So separately we will write for able and for baker. So first table, first column is customer. Second column is IIT. Then uh, third column is AT, which is nothing but a cumulative IAT. So first AT will be 0. Then next one will be 2 plus 0, 2. 4 plus 2, 6. 2 plus 6, 8. The same way you will continue. Okay. And service time, you write for both the persons for stable and paper. You just complete this particular part first. And then we will move on with each of these rows. So let us go with the first uh, row here. First row. So for the first row, this is anyway we knew and we have to check out which server to be taken. So since arrival time is zero and first customer, Abel will be taking the service. So because he is an experienced person, so he will be taking the service. So his service time is four. TS begins initially zero, you know that. So time service ends will be four. So four plus zero, four. And at that time, Baker will be idle. So we are just keeping it as idle. So what is the waiting time? It is zero for the first customer. So time spent in the system will be service time plus waiting time. That is four plus zero, four. Then idle time for the first customer, it is zero. Let's go with the second customer. Second customer, let us see who is taking the service, whether it is able or Baker. Okay, now you look into the uh, first tape, first row, time service ending at 4. The next customer is arriving at 2. That means the first customer ending at 4th minute, the second customer is arriving at 2nd second, second minute itself. So definitely Abel will be busy, right? Abel will be busy. So the service has to be taken by Baker. Okay, so what is the service time? 3. So in place of uh, able, we are writing busy and service time of baker is 3. Time service begins. So since he is taking up time service ending at 4, but for able, for baker, you he can take it up at second minute itself. I it is 2. So 3 plus 2, 5. That will be the time service ending. There is no delay as such. So time spent in the system will be service time plus delay that is 3 plus 0 3 and idle time okay so what is the idle time uh, that is the four, previous one for you know time uh, spent in the system is 4 and uh, he is starting at 2 but 2 minus 4 anyway it is we take it as a zero number if it is negative just put it as zero okay so the next customer okay uh, so customer number 2 ending at five, fifth minute okay customer number one ending at fourth minute customer two ending at fifth minute let us see the third customer at what time he is coming he is arriving at sixth minute correct so at the sixth minute okay at the sixth minute in fact both able and baker are free because uh, able is completing at fourth minute Baker is completing at 5th minute. So, both are free at the 6th minute. Okay. So, definitely when both are free, Abel will be taking the service. So, his uh, service time is given. Time service begins 
he is starting at sixth minute only because uh, uh, whichever is greater among uh, his and the previous one that is six and four six is the greatest one. so two plus six eight is a time service ending baker will be idle and no waiting time there is no delay and time spent in the system will be service time plus delay that is two and uh, uh, we will see the idle time so the time service begins at six what is the previous time it is ending five okay this is i'm talking about the idle time of the server so the server ended at five in the previous customer time and now in the third customer it is starting at uh six so six minus five one so six and five so six minus five for one minute that server was idle okay so the same way we will go with the next customer so the previous customer ended the the, the service ended at eight minute okay now let us see at what time the fourth customer is entering fourth customer is entering at eight minute itself that means as soon as he completes time service is ending uh, you know the fourth customer is entering so fine able will be free that time immediately after that he will be free so he will be taking up the call okay so baker will be again idle so four plus eight twelve and then similarly waiting time no waiting time at all then uh, we will see what is the time spent in system is service time plus zero four okay idle time okay so he uh, entered at 8 and uh, uh yeah he entered at 8 the previous customer time service ended at 8 so 8 minus 8 0 so the same way you will be continuing with the next one so the next customer is arriving at uh, ninth minute and uh, the time service ending for the previous customer 4 is 12 so abel will be busy so baker has to take the call so he is busy baker has to take the call so he is time ending at 12 so time spent in the system we have made and uh, uh, this one nine that is uh, the time service begins for the new customer is nine and the time service ending for the previous customer is 12 so nine minus five we will take it in the negative number so we can leave it so similarly you will have to continue with all the customers okay and finally you find out what is the total of arrival time service time of uh, able service time of day so arrive average arrival time will be total arrival time divided by total number of customers so total arrival time is 105 so 105 minus, divided by 10 will be 10.5 minutes then average service time of able okay able has taken 22 minutes so 22 by 10 2.2 minutes then average service time of baker so baker has taken 13 minutes of service so 13 by 10 1.3 minutes so this is a very popular question known as able baker problem 